Mark Louderman. Sorry if I mispronounce your names, uh, but uh, I promise you guys how to do to show you how to do foliage. And here, here I go. First, I'm going to show you the sponges. The sponge. When you, if you decide to use a sponge, make sure you always dip it in water first. Just a little dip, and then drain it so it's damp. So that way it doesn't soak up all your paint and you ain't screwed. But first, when you're using Painter's Touch, this is a misconception. Everybody thinks Painter Touch is a thick paint. It is not a thick paint. It is a really thin and watery paint compared to a lot of the other paints. If you're using Flame, Molotov, Montana, you, you won't have to do this, but with rust and Painter's Touch, you pretty much got to do this every time. Now, you basically lay it down from light to dark. Here I got my cheap Painter's Touch key lime. I got my Painter's Touch metal green. And then I got my Painter's Touch Hunter's green right here. Basically, the further you go in the painting, the darker it's going to get. So your bright, your edges are going to be bright colors, and why the, the deeper you go in, it's going to be darker. Then you also make sure you apply a little bit of a white first before doing any of that. You just spray it with a little white. That makes it a little brighter. And then you set it to the side. You let it sit there for a minute. You do not touch it. Let it sit there for about a minute. Now while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna do this. You take a scrubby like this, and you cut it. You basically just cut it into a semicircle, just like that. And a lot of people don't realize, with foliage, you don't have to make the whole thing one color. You keep the black, a lot of the black stays in. A lot of, now this is just a simple painting I did for to explain to you guys, so it's not really, don't judge the painting, please. But, a lot of this black is going to stay. Because when you look at a bush in real life, you got the different shades, but the shadows are pretty much predominant. The further you go in, the darker it gets. And once this dries a little bit, it will come on brighter. But if you don't let it dry, it will come on. It will go on watery, really muddy looking, and dull. Now this should have been enough time. So when you do end up scooping it, you scoop it from the bottom up, just like this. You don't go like that. You scoop it up just like that. And it should look like that on there. And when you apply it, you just apply it just like that. And you hit it three or four times and then you move on. You hit it a couple times and then you move on. You don't sit there and just dab the shit out of it and make it go all crazy. And that's basically how you do it. You just dab a little bit and then move on. You dab a little bit and move on. That's all you got to do. It's nice and simple and easy. It took me a long time to figure out with foliage, less is always better. Less will always be better. It will never, don't, people don't go crazy on it. And then that's how you get your mistakes. You always be, pay, always be patient and just let it dry for a second. That way... You don't mess it up. Now let me show you what happens when you don't let it dry. I didn't let this dry at all. And look at the difference. Big, big, big difference. Now when you're using a damp sponge, you just do the same thing like you would a regular Scrubby. You just dip it a little bit and then dip it down slightly. Less is always better. Just like that. Me, me personally, I use these. These are the best. These are these are God's gifts to spray painters. To be quite frank with you, they're perfect. They're they're cheap. 
they're easy to do and I look really pay attention to the difference that was no dry that is where I let it dry that's where I didn't let it dry when you see those people in Rome or whatever they got that they're most likely using Molotov or some kind of other acrylic spray paint painters touch is not an acrylic spray paint it is uh, enamel and it has a lot of chemicals in it and if you don't let some of those chemicals evaporate before applying it those chemicals make it look like that so all you got to do is just sit there and let it just let it chill for a minute just set, do it usually what I do as I'm doing this part of the painting as I'm laying down the black I'll lay this down first set it aside and then lay down all my black and do my waterfalls and then I'll come back to this and scoop up from the bottom to the top and just apply it and as you can see there's a huge difference from letting it dry to not letting it dry that's the whole thing right there is just letting it dry well thank you and I hope this helps guys if not let me know and I'll try to do something better have a great day